Hello everyone, my name is Dr. John. We have discussed that. There are the three stages. One stage, which is pre-embryo, it has been discussed. Now moving to, the embryo. At weeks, 2 to 8. The most characteristic event occurring during, the third week of gestation is. Gastrulation. Gastrulation, is the process, that establishes, all three germ layers. Ectoderm. Mesoderm. And, endoderm. But do you know how these germs layers are generated? Let's understand it. This is, embryonic disc, with dorsal view. This is, cranial end. And this is, caudal end. The primitive streak, first appears in the epiblast, at the caudal end, of the embryonic disc. Extends towards its center and then develops, the primitive groove, in its dorsal surface. At the cranial end of this develops, the primitive node. Now if we cut, and look into it. In this way. Now we are going to focus inside, of this part of embryonic disc. These are, epiblast cells. These are, hypoblast. This is, primitive groove. This is, primitive node. Now, pay attention. You are going to see magic. Epiblast cells migrate across the disc, through the primitive groove. And, into the space above the hypoblast. Three germ layers, are produced. Firstly, once the cells have invaginated. Some displace the hypoblast. Creating, the embryonic endoderm. And, others come to lie, between the epiblast, and newly created endoderm. To form mesoderm. Cells remaining in the epiblast. Then form, ectoderm. Let me give, different colors to them, so they become more visible to you. This is, endoderm. Between endo, and ectoderm, there is mesoderm. And, this is ectoderm. Oh wow, magic. This is, really a magic. Two layers. The epiblast, and hypoblast. Converts to, three layers. Ectoderm. Mesoderm. And, endoderm. It means, bilaminar disc, converts to trilaminar disc. Great! You have understood all the process. So, what were we discussing? We were discussing about, gastrulation. Yes, we were discussing about gastrulation. Now we are going to discuss neurulation. And, yes it's name indications, that it's the process of neural tube formation. As we have discussed, this is ectoderm. This is mesoderm. And this is endoderm. So, mesoderm cells, that migrate anteriorly. And accumulate, in the midline, form the notochordal process. While, this is primitive node. Now, not a cordal process, release growth factors. That cause, ectoderm proliferation. So what you guys are going to call this process? Yes, it is called ectodermal proliferation. The ectoderm then thickens, to form the neural plate. And in next step, a neural fold arises, on either side of the central axis. Now, along the dorsal edges of the neural folds, are the neural crest cells. Consider these curves as a magnetic. So, these curves fuse in to create the neural tube. Can you see the formation of the tube? But, are you thinking why there is formation of this tube? Because, this neural tube ladder becomes the spinal cord. So John, let's revise main events of neurulation. Formation of the notochordal process. Next is ectodermal proliferation. Next is formation of the neural plate. Then neural fold arises. Edges of the neural folds are the neural crest cells. And the formation of neural tube. That becomes spinal cord. Now, as we have discussed that, we will talk about the three stages. 
the pre-embryo stage, and the embryo stage have been discussed. Now, let's discuss the fetus stage, at weeks 8 to 38. The ectoderm, which is the external layer. Ecto means outside. It is the origin of skin cells and nervous system. Mesoderm, meso means, middle. So it's the middle layer. Mesoderm forms, muscles, skeleton, kidneys, and reproductive system. And, endoderm, endo means inner. So, endoderm is internal layer, it forms endocrine glands, lungs, digestive tract, and liver. Thank you for participating in this learning experience. It was a pleasure assisting you. Don't hesitate to come back anytime you need help. Your willingness to learn is truly appreciated. Watch our medical videos anytime and anywhere. Download Scotia.com app now. Thank you.